Talk about your time at IU. You had a couple big moments there. Obviously, it wasn't the best year, but you did have that win over Wisconsin and Michigan and a few other big games. What was your best moment in your time at IU? Um, I mean, just the whole experience, the whole college experience was great. Um, playing for Coach Cream and coming in with that freshman class, we were pretty talented um, with Troy Williams, um, we had Devin Davis, um, Stanford Robinson. It was, it was great playing with those guys, playing with Yogi Ferrell. Um, I just love going to Indiana University. I mean, Indiana breeds basketball players, and I just love the fact that um, they kind of worship basketball. So it's just a great environment playing in the Seminole Hall. And then I was going to actually ask you about Yogi. He was the best player on the team. I interviewed him similarly earlier this year. So what was your relationship like? And was that probably you and him being the two best players on the team at the time? Uh, it was great. I mean, Yogi's a great point guard. Um, he can really play make. He can score the basketball. Um, with his, um, people, um, he's 5'10", he's 5'11", so people kind of take his, take his size for granted. But I mean, he's a, he's a hell of a basketball player. Um, he went undrafted, but he's playing um, in his fourth or fifth season in the NBA. So um, it's, been, it's been great. It was a great, great time playing with him here at Indiana. And, and then, obviously, this year, your team or, I mean, the team you were on struggled a little bit with shooting and scoring. I just had a similar issue with Archie this year. I don't know how much time, how much of it you've watched, but do you see any similarities between the shooting struggles that the 13 team you were on had in the last couple of years at IU and any advice um, I for going I haven't, forward? I haven't seen um, too many of the recent games, but I watched them early on in the season when they played against UConn and when they played, when they started a couple games uh, for Big Ten play. I mean. Um, Archie's a, a hell of a coach. Um, he's going he's gonna to figure it out. He's going to recruit the right guys to come in there and fit into their system. So I don't think that will be a problem down the road. And then obviously you just missed the Victor Oladipo and Cody Zeller era. Vic's opposite of you. Obviously I'm not going to play tonight, almost. But is on the other teams, you, do you wish you had gotten to play with Vic a year earlier? Are you happy for the year you played? Uh, I mean, I'm happy with the year I, I played. I mean... It was, I, I watched Cody and Vic the year before when they were at Indiana. Um, they, they did a lot of great things for Indiana. It would have been fun to play with those guys. Um, they were both also lottery picks in, in the draft they were in. And um, yeah, it would, have, it would have been fun and interesting seeing me, him, Cody, and, uh, and Yogi play together. That would have been, been a fun team to watch. Have you talked with Vic yet tonight or seen him on your trip here? Uh, I haven't seen him yet. I'll probably see him. Um, once the game, before the game or at halftime or something, talk a little bit. And then as a big man yourself, what kind of advice would you have for maybe Trace Jackson Davis or any of the big men who are NBA prospects going forward as one yourself? Um, the advice I would have for them, um, just just continue to work hard, um, listen to their coaching staff, and just continue, yeah, like I said, continue to work hard and the sky's the limit for those guys. And then what was your relationship like with Tom Crean and how did you end up at IU? Um, Tom Crean and uh, Kenny Johnson, who's now at LaSalle, they both um, played a big part in my recruitment, and that was one of the main reasons why I came to Indiana. And then, your, and then how was your relationship with Crean and Coach Johnson during your time at IU? Um, my relationship with those guys, it was, it was pretty good. Um, uh, still talk to those guys every once in a while. Um, they, put, they pushed me. It pushed me to the limit when I was um, at IU, and it was a great experience overall. And then I've taken a lot of your time, so I just have one more question. Can you talk about your NBA career now that you made it to the NBA and what it's been like? Um, I've been in the league. This is my sixth year in the league. Been on a few teams, and I'm just going going with the journey, seeing where it takes me. I mean, I hope to be in this league as long as long as I want to.